here for the second attempt at our Cosmic Ray High Altitude Experiment by science students. It's a beautiful morning. We're hoping for a great launch. Uh, behind me is the gondola over on the left and the helium truck over on the right. And uh, we've just changed directions uh, that this is laid out because uh, the, the wind wasn't quite as anticipated. But we're hoping for a launch within about a half an hour or so. Um, we're trying to replicate Victor Hess's Nobel Prize winning experiment in uh, the 1920s where he discovered that radiation not only came from Earth, the Earth and the radioactive uh, elements contained in the Earth's crust, but uh, it also came from space and that was uh, quite a surprise. Uh, Hess took a, a kind of a primitive cos cosmic ray detector, or radiation detector really, and took it up in his balloon and uh, discovered that the radiation amounts increased. That was a surprise. Uh, we tried this experiment uh, in August and due to a communication cable between our data recorder, a TI-83 plus calculator, and the event uh, collector with a, a Vernier Lab Pro uh, interface, cable probably got tweaked when the suitcase got closed and we got three minutes of data. That was it. So we're trying again. Um, at this time of year, the NSBF Sw uh, switches operations to uh, Fort Sumner, New Mexico from their main base in Palestine, Texas. The winds are better here. Everything looks very favorable this morning for a good launch. Balloons laid out and the uh, Discovery Channel payload is on. Seattle, Washington payload is below.